Greetings to you all from Bosnia. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Belinda Chaplin. Um, and if you're wondering about the accent, I'm originally from South Africa, but I have lived and worked here in Bosnia and Herzegovina for the last 20 years. We all want to grow as leaders, right? If, if we didn't, we'd be in the wrong job. Developing our leadership muscles usually happens the same way as growing our actual muscles. By doing, by leading, by going out and getting things done. However, just like as an exercising, we sometimes start developing too much in one area, or we forget to stretch properly and we become weak in another area. And the same thing is true of our leadership muscles. We need to evaluate where we need to grow more and where we have sometimes overdeveloped and need to develop other areas to compensate. One tool that can help us see how we're doing in all areas is called the 360 degree evaluation. It was started in the business world in the 1950s um, and it was to help promote growth and development in leaders. It has actually been adapted by Steve Mayers and others in YOM to fit our framework of Christian leadership. Have you been through a 360 degree uh, evaluation? Has your leadership team? Has your staff? Do you even know what it is? In a nutshell, this kind of evaluation looks at feedback from those that lead you, those that lead alongside you, and those that you lead and helps to show where you're doing well and where you need to develop as a leader. It's a 360 degree look at your leadership. It's quite funny because when, when in this day and age, we're all so used to Zoom and being on video, con video conferencing and showing the sort of one picture. So I, I can show you this lovely background and it looks amazing. But if you were to take a 360 degree look at the room, you'd have a completely different picture of me. In fact, right now I'm wearing pajama bottoms because you don't see that. And I think that's what the 360 degree look at, at your life will help you see the areas that you need to grow and develop. If we look in the Bible, we see in Lamentations that Jeremiah says, let us examine and probe our ways and let us return to the Lord. We're encouraged to evaluate and examine what we do. In Psalm 19, David actually asks, but who can discern their own errors? Yes, who can discern their own errors? A big reason we need to do these kind of evaluations is because all leaders have blind spots. What are blind spots? These are areas that are known to others, but not known to us. I kind of think of them as the, the spinach in the, in the teeth. They are things that other people need to point out to us so we can deal with them. And when some, someone points out something that we have, like, so if we, they point out that we have spinach in our teeth, you accept that help and you hopefully go and do something and get it out. There's no need to be defensive. Instead, we, we kind of learn and we grow from that feedback. In order to find out more about our blind spots, we need that help to evaluate how we're doing as leaders. And this tool of the 360 degree evaluation is a great way to be able to get feedback from many different angles how we're doing. The feedback from our leaders may actually look different from the feedback from those we work alongside on a regular basis. It may also look different from the feedback from those who work for us. But looking at it all together will hopefully give us a good indication of how we're doing overall. Having all the different kinds of feedback is essential to having a full picture of what the whole is. Another important part of the evaluation is for you to do a self-evaluation, where you can give yourself feedback on how you're doing. This is then compared to the rest of the information to make sure that you are not living on cloud cuckoo land or with a lot of spinach in your teeth. If you do have a healthy sense of self, where you have evaluated your strengths and your weaknesses well, this will hopefully line up with the rest of the feedback. And if not, that will also give you a strong indication where you need to improve and what the spinach is that needs to be dealt with. The 360 degree tool that we have um, available through the ELLC 
It looks at four main areas of leadership, um, and these are all essential for being a good leader. The first area is visionary or developmental leadership. This is not just about having a vision, but it's how well you do at bringing people alongside you into that vision. The second area is spiritual leadership. This is hearing from God, not just for yourself, but corporately. How well are you doing in that? How well are you doing in modeling the Wyoming values? The third area is operational leadership. This is not just how well you administrate, it's how well you make decisions, how you problem solve, how you look at things at different, from different angles. Relational leadership is the fourth and final area. This is how well you connect to others, or actually how you deal with conflicts. These four areas are very important to understanding how we're doing as leaders. And getting feedback on all of these areas will show you how you're doing well and where you can improve. Then you will know where you need to improve or where you need to maybe staff your weaknesses. When I became the Central European Convener five years ago, one of the suggestions from the European leadership was that I would actually, after a period of a year, be given a 360 degree um, evaluation. I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know what the evaluation was about. It just felt like, well, we aren't sure if she can cut it, so maybe she should have an evaluation. Because of this viewpoint, I actually made the others on our leadership team here in Centro go through this with me. I sort of saw it as a kind of punishment, so I wanted us all to go through it together. But I can actually tell you it was a great experience for us all. We all learned the areas that, where we needed to grow and were all encouraged by the mostly positive feedback. Roy Jones, who is now in the UK, was the person who administered this evaluation for us and he gave us the results at one of our uh, Central European conferences. I remember being apprehensive about the process but came out not only encouraged but also with some ideas of how to move forward in the areas where I was lacking. My teammate, Albert Salko from Albania, said the following about the experience. This is something he wrote to Roy afterwards. The 360 degree evaluations were really good and I really appreciated the conversation that we had. It helped me understand myself and how others see me so much better. It's a great blessing to have such an in-depth review for growth. So, you can see, it can be an amazing experience for development and growth. So one of the things I know about myself is that I'm a terrible gardener. My mother is a wonderful gardener. She has four green thumbs. Unfortunately, I think I have, I always joke and you say I have brown thumbs. Everything I touch just seems to die off. Um, and I know this about myself, and I, but I still kind of like trying and, and, and having something that's growing. Um, and actually, I had this lovely, this is a succulent, and here in Bosnia it's called the Chuba Kucha, uh, which is the guardian of the house. Uh, or in Herzegovina, it's called Uzlul Dobar, which is uh, in bad times good. And you can actually use this to uh, make a sort of tea or a, um, with honey, and you eat it. And every house has one of these. And I thought, well, it's so easy to grow, I'll try, give it a try. And it's kind of supposed to be completely indestructible. But I managed to kill my chubakocho off. I left it over the winter, didn't water it, and then in the spring completely watered it uh, too much, and it actually ended up getting a little uh, like mold on it and died. So, yeah, not 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 one of my finest hours. But as you can see, I've actually been given one of these uh, sort of propagation things to plant, and I'm going to give it another go. The best part is that it propagates itself. It grows these shoots, and then you just take them, replant them, and it will then keep growing more shoots and growing more shoots and growing more shoots. And even then it keeps on growing. It's the kind of multiplication and growth that we in YLM want to see in our lives in ministry. As I was preparing this talk, I was reminded by these little plants, first, of my weakness in growing things. And that's something I've actually, I let other people do most of the time. Um, rather than me doing it. But also I realized the growth potential we have 
when we look deeply into our lives and see what God is doing and where we need to change and develop in order to keep growing into the full potential that God has for us. So how does one go about doing a 360 degree evaluation? Normally one person coordinates and collates the data and this means the feedback can actually be completely anonymous if you prefer. In our case, Roy Jones did this for us in Central Europe and Roy is actually making himself available to do it for others if you're interested. So there, there are three ways that we're offering here through the ELLC. One is to download the forms off the website. They're there under resources assessment and you can actually get someone to do it for you. The second way is to contact Roy and get access to the online forms, which he will help you figure out how to use. And again, you can do it for yourself. The third way is to get Roy to help you do it all. His way is all online and people just fill out the forms and he collates it and gives you the feedback. As I mentioned, he is quite happy to do this for people in Europe. And if he isn't able to do it, he will help you do it by, by yourselves. His email address will be a link um, under the resources assessment as well. Many of you may already be doing some sort of yearly assessment and that is fantastic. I hope this will encourage you to keep on doing them. Others, others of you may not, not know where to start. So hopefully by having the resource av available, you will think and pray hard about starting some sort of evaluation process. It really is a way to maximize ministry effectiveness as the topic of this month states. Not just for you individually, but also for your staff, for your leadership team. It is actually recommended for every leader from the DTS staff up. So, so make use of the resources available so that leaders and staff can grow and develop as God intended. Don't be like me and think of it as a kind of judgment of what I am worth as a leader and whether I would cut it. Instead, use it for the potential to show you where you are doing well and areas where you can grow. I cannot emphasize enough how beneficial it is and a tool we all need to use more often. Why don't you and your staff in this last month of 2020 evaluate how you have done as a leader or a leadership team in the last year and take advantage of what we've set up on the ELLC website. Be like the true life culture in your lives and ministry, and use evaluation to maximize your growth and development. I'm going to go off and plant this guy now. May you be as fruitful as him in the new year.